I was like, yeah, you're not going to self-drive me. You need to drive it yourself. <laughs> Could you imagine? We ain't going to be crashing around these streets. Bubba cars. You see what I'm saying? No, we ain't doing bubba cars. Not in LA. I have places to be. I'm required on set. I'm here to work. You get it? I'm here to be in front of the big screen. I cannot be dead. <laughs> I need to be alive. What up, girl? And welcome back to my channel. We doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. All right. It's Mena. You know the deal. You know how it goes. We're going to talk a little bit while I get ready for this meeting I'm about to have. If you ain't subscribed, hello. <laughs> you wasting my time. <laughs> Let's make sure we go ahead and do that. This is my Freedom 202 wig. One of my favorites. I just took off my head tie. Head wrapping paper. That's why you see a line of demarcation. We're gonna get this wig together, okay? And lay down my edges. And now I'm just putting this on. I got two combs. I very easily got this wig together in the hotel room in LA the other day. But if you've been around for a while, you know that I've bought this wig a million times. It is one of my favorites because the curls stay. The wig behaves. The wig is great. The curls don't fall. It's just an easy Cynthia, as my hairstylist in LA called it Cynthia. I love it. Rachel was so sweet. I'm just jumping right in. So I was in LA for a few days this week. That feels so official. Like, who am I? I was in LA for a few days. Like I was flew out to LA, you know what I'm saying? I was on set, you know what I'm saying? I was doing a little one, two, one, two. <laughs> Like, who am I? I don't know. When I talk like that, I just feel like, okay, have you ever been blessed with something so great? And then when you talk about it, you want to tone it down a little bit so that it doesn't sound too amazing because you don't want to be misconstrued as like, oh, you think you're somebody, but then you actually are somebody. <laughs> God is doing it. Like, who want to be all like, oh yeah, it was nothing. No, it was something. Okay. What the heck? How many people are getting flued out to Hollywood? What? <laughs> Let me not pretend. I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. We ain't doing that. So I'm just fixing my wig a little bit. We're going to do some makeup. I am running behind schedule right now, but here we are. And I'm filming. Like what? So yeah, Rachel hooked my hair up a little bit. She tamed it down with some edge control she used. I like what she did. She did the wig a little bit of justice. A lot of justice actually. So shout out to Rachel. Okay. Lots to talk about. Let me not be over here doing my vlog and stuff. We need to actually do makeup and get ready because I gotta get ready. Okay. So, so yeah. So I was in LA, you know what I'm saying? This was food out. It was like, you know, what you saying? And we're going to pin the hair back and get ready. It was so exciting. It was part of me being on the Sephora squad. I was flewed out actually to Hollywood. Hollywood. And it was Fantastic. If you live in LA or if you from LA, this is not the kind of video you won't come and get offended by. This is just my observation from being in LA. Hopefully no one is offended by this. And honestly, you shouldn't be surprised by what I'm gonna say. If anyone went to Rhode Island and called it whatever they wanna call it, then it, if that was your experience, praise the Lord, you know? Listen. What I'm, when I think of LA, I've been to LA twice, twice for work. One was with my other corporate job that I did before being a full-time entrepreneur influencer. And now for this career and job, which is being an entrepreneur. This is the Elf Cosmetics Lock On Lip Primer. It wasn't what I expected. I think of LA and I think of what I see in the movies. And honestly, even while I was there and I was talking to some people, like it's not what I expected. No one disagrees. Everyone is like, yeah, 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 that's LA. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great, fantastic. So it's just nothing like you would expect or I would expect. A lot of homeless people. And I was very, very shocked by that. The first time that I went, I was in Santa Monica. And then this time too, in Hollywood, on Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. Now those of you from there might be like, oh yeah, that's normal. It's just not what I expected. I'm thinking of seeing what I see in the movies. And even for instance, what's that show on Netflix where they sell the houses? They're all obviously the very rich houses. I understand that, but anyway. Whatever. So I was on Hollywood Boulevard, which is where the Walk of, is it Walk of Fame? Stars of Fame? Hall of Fame. What? Whatever. Where those stars are on the ground. Okay. So that is where I was, Hollywood Boulevard. And it is an interesting place. It's a tourist place. It reminds me of, this is Becca Evermatt Flawless Primer. I'm doing this because I don't want it to crumble like it is right here, but that's okay. We're going to put our makeup over it and it's not going to show. Hollywood Boulevard is a touristy area. It reminds me of 
Times Square. When I was in Times Square the last time and I went to go visit the CoverGirl store and I was just talking to the people. And I remember somebody said, you know, us locals, we don't walk down, we don't walk in Times Square. You know, if they're cutting through to go to work or to go anywhere, they go around. I'm gonna use Fenty, one of the foundations that I actually used on set. You're gonna find out what I was doing later. I signed an NDA. I can't talk about it too much, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of idea, okay? This is one of the foundations that I use. Love this. I've used Fenty F Beauty Pro Filter. <sighs> Long names. Fenty Beauty Pro filter soft matte what this <laughs> okay i use this a thousand times i just haven't used it recently because the color i have is my winter color which is 450 this is 470 which matches me now so yeah they said we don't be walking through times square because of all the tourists they be stopping and taking pictures and being annoying and then you know when you got somewhere to go you don't want to do it wait is this my color <laughs> it's looking more red right now okay i did take a lot though okay <laughs> I did take a lot. I didn't take that much the other day. Hmm. Let me go a little lighter. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like the same is true for Hollywood Boulevard. Now, if you're from LA, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you go to Hollywood Boulevard? Probably not. That's where you're gonna find Madame Tussaud, which is the place where you have the statues of people and all kinds of different things. It's very, it's very much a sightseeing place. <laughs> you know, you can sightsee with people, you get, or you can sightsee with places. I didn't walk down it because I had already been over there the last time that I went and had gone to some stores. You can see the Hollywood sign from that area, which is nice. I had already seen all that, so I didn't go. Besides, I was alone and I didn't want to, I didn't gotta be careful. I just didn't want to stand out and look all crazy. And I can't lie, homeless people make me sad, obviously because of this situation. But then again, somebody be kind of psycho. So I didn't want to be like harassed or anything like that. I had gone, if you watch my stories, I had gone to Target, you know what I'm saying? They get a little one too. And it was 8 a.m. in the morning. The street was deserted except for some homeless people. And there was a guy that was talking to himself. And I get it, right? Mental illness, I understand all that. But I was kind of, I was a little, you know, I was alert. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You never know what anyone is capable of doing, whether they're homeless, whether they're in a suit. So again, being myself, I was like, I'm not about to go and walk up and down these streets for what? So yeah, I, I kept it real low key while I was there, but the whole shoot was so fun. So I was on set, movie be shot and stuff. Yeah, that's where your girl was at, you feel me? And it was so nice. I, I had plans. I had plans. So, you know, I couldn't take you like the way I thought. <laughs> we couldn't do it. I was like, I oh, know. Y'all ain't gonna get this in the vlog, but eh, I guess I'll tell y'all later. <laughs> so that's what happened. And then there were three of us on the squad who were there. It was so nice to meet other people on the squad because with COVID and I was on a squad last year and I'm returning or I have already returned this year. I didn't meet anybody. Nobody met anybody. So it was nice to just see people in person like, oh, this is you. Wow, you're like, you're tall and whatever. So that was nice and it was nice to be there. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? I landed in LA, you know what I'm saying? The car the car came, picked me up, I got a text message that said, your chauffeur. <laughs> I was like, chauffeur, what you be? Like your chauffeur? I was like, wait, you got me a chauffeur? Hold on. <laughs> is he gonna wear white gloves? <laughs> He didn't have all white gloves and that's okay. But I was like, go ahead and give me a chauffeur. I'm not mad about it, shoot. You know what I'm saying, the chauffeur came. Yeah, this matches me. I just had to go a little light-handed. It was a little bit too much. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Color 430 to highlight. And he was nice. Yo, he pulled up in the Tessie. I was like, not the bestie in the Tessie. <laughs> We in a Tessie though. And I've never been in a Tesla, honey. And my sister had to tell me that's the car that be self-driving. I was like, yeah, you're not gonna self-drive me. You need to drive it yourself. <laughs> Could you imagine? We ain't gonna be crashing around these streets. Bubba cars, you see what I'm saying? No, we ain't doing bubble cars. Not in LA. I have places to be. I'm required on set. I'm here to work. You get it? I'm here to be in front of the big screen. I cannot be dead. <laughs> I need to be alive. So that was quite an experience. I got in the Tessie, you know, I had to act natural, like act as if I sit in Teslas three times a week, when in fact it was my first time. I said, wait a minute. So, and I'm so annoyed, right? So when the guy pulled up, I'm thinking chauffeur, right? So here I am, he grabs my bags and he puts it in the trunk and 
this is so bad. You know, you get in an Uber, you just sit down. Like we get all that, right? Honey, he pulled up and put my bag in the trunk. I thought he was gonna open the door and he didn't open the door. I was like, wait a minute, you go, you go open the door? Like what you do? Do I open my own door? Okay, I could do that. <laughs> So I opened the door and I sat down. I was so annoyed. I wanted to laugh, but I said, nah, man, I gotta play this cool. Hold on. And he was fine. He was cool. He didn't have his mask on. So here I am engaging. I'm like, do they require masks in California? And he said, this fun just kind of get my nerves. Eco tools. I, I don't like the angle at the top. And he said on the 15th, they had just lifted the mask requirement. I'm like, oh, I wonder why you're not wearing yours. Okay. <laughs> great but i have mine on you know and he's taking me to my hotel and i'm like yeah i remember this place yeah again even even leaving from the, the airport to go to the hotel even the, no okay i can't lie the area around hobby is real ghetto too so it's not like it's alarming to me it's just again if you go to la and you're thinking like you about to get down and be like on melrose i don't even know where melrose is or what it looks like i just imagine melrose is like beautiful i could be wrong but even driving off it's like wait where are we like what is, what's going on here but yeah and the first night I was tired. I was tired. It was like I was at home and my flight was later in the day. So I had already had sort of a full day. So when I went there and initially I was like, oh, I want to do this, this, this. Uh -uh, no, ma'am. But I got there, got settled in and I was like, I just want to go to bed. One of the things that was really shocking to me was how cold it was. We're looking at 70s, whereas I came from 90s. So I was like, excuse me? It's cold. I thought this was California. I thought these were different around here. That hence why on Monday morning, I had to go to Target because I was like, excuse me? I'm not ready for all this. I was, what? No. This is cream bronzer, toffee teas, Fenty. So yeah, but on Monday, then we were, where we were to report to the studio, did that. And that was just to make sure that everything was what it needed to be before the actual shoot on Tuesday. And here I am like act natural. And if you're wondering if I was nervous, I wasn't, you know, I already felt the peace of God over this whole situation. And I can't lie. I know that I was born to be on television. I just know that. When I was younger, my mom took me to this thing and <laughs> I was supposed to be a model. It was just some rinky, right? That was just like a nothing. I also was, or yeah, was an extra in Amistad. So a portion of Amistad, that's what I'm saying, when you talk to me, first of all, you can't even talk to me. You can't talk to me. I've been told y'all that and you still don't understand what I'm saying. I want you to know right now, you cannot smoke. Now, especially since I've been in Hollywood? No. First of all, wait. Mm. First of all, talk to my manager. <laughs> talk to him or her whenever I find her. <laughs> if I do, by the time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta first go through my people to come and talk to me. And then when you talk to me, you gotta fix your mouth. You gotta fix your mouth a certain way to speak to me. Cause I am somebody, you know? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, oh yeah, so I was an extra in Amistad. I was very young. I remember distinctly they put that pilgrimage type Utah, you know, Amish type outfit on me. And I was just like, wait, uh, hold on, you know? But it was part of the, the role for me to dress that way. Obviously this was a movie about slavery. And I remember distinctly too, they had given me a darker foundation for me to be a lot darker, I remember that. And then they put sideburns on me. They needed my hair to be more full, more disheveled. Oh, was it on me or was it somebody else? No, they put the sideburns on this boy that was there and he was crying and everything. I was real young, so some of the memory is, is faint. I remember I met Debbie Allen and Morgan Freeman. Got a picture with the two of them, but you can't even pay me to find that picture. So Monday did the whole making sure that everything is ready to go for Tuesday. Tuesday came, they took such good care of us. Meals, snacks, you name it. It was really nice. Oh yeah, I had to act natural. Like I've been here, done that. Like you're already in the presence of fame, <laughs> so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the crew was really, really nice. It was so cool to meet some Sephora folks. This is Urban Decay All Night at Translucent. And it was just a nice experience. I have never had my makeup done, okay? Outside of going to MAC when I first started doing makeup and having somebody pair me with the right eyebrow product or just show me how to do my eyebrows. I've never had my makeup done. I even told the makeup artist, I was like, I used to be a makeup artist. I don't envy you because even just seeing how hard she was working for the shoot, I was like, girl, this is a lot. You see what I'm saying? It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. She had to work very quickly. I commend her. She did a great job. I was just like, yeah, when I was a freelancer, I wanted to work on sets and stuff, but I'm so glad I took a pivot to being on, basically doing what I'm doing right now because uh-uh it's just very stressful <laughs> like wow yeah i can't do it you know not interested i'd honestly rather be in front of the camera like i am right now 
and I got my hair done, but my hair was done already. So, you know, I just brought this wig because it was part of what they wanted anyway. They suggested, I'm like, boom, perfect. You want me to wear my, my one of my most favorite wigs? Bet. And for that reason, I said, hold on, let me get a fresh one. Let's get a fresh and genuine. You see what I'm saying? We don't want no old dusty. <laughs> Not the one I done sprayed uh, fabric softener on. No, ma'am, we are in Hollywood. Do you understand that? This is a big deal. So I said, no, ma'am, I have to get a new one. I just quickly ran over to Amazon. I mean, that wasn't difficult. And picked up a whole new wig. <laughs> it's insane. It came in two days. This is CoverGirl Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation in the color deep. Go three period on the shoot day and I had a huge migraine, but we know we had to push through, okay? You had to bring your energy and make it fun. And also if you're smart, you wanna make a good impression. You wanna be easy to work with. You wanna have fun. Who doesn't want to rebook someone who's fun? Easy to work with, amazing, beautiful, talented, fantastic, someone like me. <laughs> Duh, like it's a no brainer. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a no brainer. Okay, since this foundation is red, warm, I'm now going to use thick mint because I was going to bronze, but bronzer brings warmth. No need to be double warm, <laughs> that makes sense. No need for that. So we're gonna go with a contour because I want to give shadow and tone this down a little bit. So here's thick mint. So yeah, it was so nice. Acting natural, getting mic and being in front of the camera. What it, what was a challenge though, is just with YouTube, for instance, I have one, two, three, four screens in front of me. Two mirrors, two screens. So I can see myself and make sure that I'm looking how I wanna look. <laughs> but uh, uh, I couldn't see myself except from the glare from the big old camera in front of me. So I just had to act natural and I hope I look good. They said I looked good, praise the Lord. So I guess I did, you know? So that was that, but it was just so great. And what was so fantastic, you'll just see, I won't say too much, but yeah, I did this very softly. This is my first time, this is my first time or second time using this. Nice, nice soft application, nothing too harsh. And there's that. Now I'm gonna do my, oh, and if you're wondering, excuse me, I keep forgetting you want to know brushes. This is Sephora 59 brush. I'll link it below in case you wanna know, but comment below. Mm -hmm. And let me know if you're enjoying this storytelling. I can't say a lot, you know what I mean? But with what I am telling you, comment and let me know if, you, if it's if it's intriguing. I've been enjoying this Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. This is the Micro Precision Brow Pencil. Brow Cheat, the color is natural black. I've been enjoying this because it's a one-stop shop. I wish this was longer, but it's not. Other than that, I've been enjoying it. It's a one-stop shop for me. You know that I used to use two different brow products, the Morphe Micro Brow, and then I would take just a black pencil and then go over it a little bit. With this color, I just use this from start to finish and it is fantasimo. I really have been enjoying this. But let me know if you've been to LA, if you live in LA, if you like LA. Oh, I was so floored by the fact that gas was $4, $5. I saw gas for $5.89. I was shocked. Gas over here is two something, excuse me. I get it, we're in two different states. Cost of living is different. You can live a lot to me, a lot better because you could spread yourself out more here in Houston. You get a whole lot more for your money, you feel what I'm saying? But obviously, depending on what you do, LA is a great place to be. It's fun to go. It's fun to go. It's fun to leave. I really enjoyed Santa Monica when I was there for work, what, two years ago? Or was it three? Two years ago. That was really nice. We we rode those, what'd you call those things? Those scooters, yes. We rode, it was me and my coworkers. We just found the random scooters around. We rode them around. It was like nine at night. It was so fun. We were just riding them, we were one legging them. It was hilarious. So, and the Santa Monica Beach was just beautiful. We didn't go in the water, we were just around. You feel what I'm saying? So, it was nice. I can see myself going on a girls' trip to LA. In fact, I do want to do that. It's just fun. I would love to go back to the beach area or explore other areas of LA totally want to go to Runyon Canyon. I could have went this past time, but I was like, by myself, the devil. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, girl, again, it's daytime and all, but still, then here I come getting jacked up. People get yoked up during the daytime all the time. Mm -mm. I'm just very cautious when I'm ever anywhere by myself. I ain't trying to be on the news in that way. Do you understand? So here I am doing my brows. Hi, see how nice and rich this color is? Going very softly because 
obby. I don't want this to look like a pencil. And it was so interesting too, having someone else do my brows. I was like, please, my brows are very specific. The beginning has to be a, and then the tail end can also can be very, you know, stark, but not the beginning because brows without makeup, Lord, it takes getting used to for me because I don't be doing that. I do brows with makeup. I also want to get, I want to get microblading because I just feel like it, like whatever. I just feel like it. I think it'll be cute. I think it'll be strange. It'll be so strange to have brows and no makeup because I don't do that. I am very happy and confident with no makeup, just skincare. Nard Soft Matte in the Amand, Claire Amand. I'm very confident with no makeup, just skincare, with no brows and no lip. I love my lips. People on IG sometimes can be so ignorant. There's people in general though. People in general be so ignorant. It's one thing to think something. We talked about this in my vlog, right? When I had discussed my insecurities, it's not my lips. I love my lips, but I've gotten stupid questions. Someone said, do you smoke? No. Someone said, your lips. Uh, that looks like a sign of liver damage. I was like, excuse me? The devil isn't lying. Are you Satan? Satan, get behind me. Are you crazy? Do you have liver damage? Have you lost your mind? Yeah. Someone said, it looks like you drink hard liquor. Like you mean whiskey? But I'm like, y'all are so idiotic. Do you have anything else to do? <laughs> Except come on the internet and trying to diagnose somebody. Where'd you mean So anyway, but yeah, the shoot was really nice. I was like, wait, I, like literally I'm down the street from Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers Studio. How does someone like me get to have such an opportunity? And I believe that this is only the beginning. It's only the beginning. I was thinking of a different song. Now that sounds like a commercial. That literally sounded like a jingle. <laughs> A surreal commercial jingle. That was not the song that I was thinking about, but it's totally the direction we went in. This is the Urban Decay translucent situation again to set under my brow. I have forgotten to do this and it's still, it's still, everything comes out fine, but here we are. Oh, I need to do my luminizer. It's a lot of chatting. We're doing a lot of chatting. Let me zoom and finish the face and wrap this up because I have 10 minutes and I need to hurry up. All right, all right, here's the finished look. I will leave all the links down below as usual. You can find everything there, but I want you to comment and let me know if you love this look and if you enjoyed our chat. As always, glad you're here, glad you watched the video. Make sure you are subscribed and thanks for watching, bye.